Hello, good morning. Good morning. How can I help you? I am here for my citizenship interview. Okay, what time is your appointment? 11 a.m. Can I see your appointment letter and your ID, please? Sure. Here you go. Okay, please put all of your belongings into the bin, then walk through the metal detector. Okay, please take your belongings now. Thank you. Here is your appointment letter and your ID. Now, you can proceed towards the customer service window. Okay. Good morning. I am here for my citizenship interview. Good morning. Can I have your appointment letter and your green card, please? Sure, here you go. Can you please put your left index finger on the scanner for me? Sure. Thank you. Now please look at the camera, I need to take a picture of you. Great, thank you. Here is your letter and your green card and your number too. Please have a seat. We will call you when your appointment is ready. Thank you. Miss Mary. Yes, that's me. Good morning Miss Mary. I am Officer Jenny. How are you? I am great. How are you doing? I am also doing good. Now please follow me. Please come in and remain standing. Before we start our interview process, I need you to take the oath. Now, please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Great, please take a seat. Now, we will conduct the English and writing test on the tablet. Also I will ask you to verify and sign a few things on the tablet. I hope you know how to use a tablet. Yes, I do. Great, if you face any problem while operating the tablet, just ask. Okay. First, we will do the civics test, after that we will move on to the reading and writing test. And in the end we will go through your application, to make sure it's accurate and up to date. Okay officer. Now do you have any questions before we start? I made some mistakes in my application and I would like to update my answers. Thanks for letting me know, that's not a problem. We will go through your application later, and when we get to that section, please bring up the changes. Great, thank you. Can you show me your green card, your passport and state-issued ID? Sure officer. Here they are. But I am sorry officer, my green card expired in January. Is that an issue? This is your 10-year green card, correct? Yes it is. Okay that's not a problem. Okay, shall we do the civics test first? Sure, I am ready. I'm going to ask you up to 10 questions and you need to answer at least 6 of them to pass the test. First question. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Good. Second question. If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House. Good. Number 3. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? To vote in a federal election. Question number 4. Who lives in America before the Europeans arrived? Native Americans. Question number 5. There were 13 original states. Name 3. New York, New Jersey, and Vermont. Vermont is not one of the original states. Number 6. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? It freed the slaves. Good. Number 6. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Excellent. Since you have already answered six questions correctly, we will stop the test now. Now, 
we are going to move to the reading and writing section. Please look at the tablet in front of you and read the sentence out loud for me, please. Who elects Congress? Good. Now write down the sentence, I'm going to say. The people elects Congress. Very good. You have passed the reading and writing test also. Finally, let's go over your application. What's your current legal name? Mary Monterola. Have you used any other names? No. Do you want to legally change your name? No. Can you verify your social security number, please? Sure. 4533454472 And when did you get your green card? I got my green card on January 28, 2011. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico City, Mexico. Can you confirm your birthday, please? Sorry, officer. Here I made a mistake on the application. My birthday is June 10, 1983, not July 10, 1983. Okay, not a problem, let me update that. Alright, what's your current marital status? I am married. Here in the application, it says that you have been married more than once. When did your previous marriage end? I got divorced from my ex-husband in 2013. Where he lives? He lives in New York. Did you got your green card from your ex-husband? Yes, I did. How did you meet your ex-husband? We met through a mutual friend. Did you bring your old marriage certificate and divorce decree? I only brought the divorce decree. Here it is. Okay, thank you. Do you have to pay any child support? Yes, I do. Could you show me your proof of payments? I am sorry officer, I didn't bring any proof payments. Okay, I will get back to it later. What's your current spouse's name? Steve Parker. Is he a United States citizen? Yes, he is a United States citizen. Does he have any other previous marriages? No, he doesn't have. When did you get married? December 2, 2017. Where did you get married? Georgia. Can you show me your current marriage certificate? Sure, here it is. How did you guys meet? We met through a dating site. I see. How many kids do you have? Three, one with my ex and two with my present husband. And what are their names? Susan, Rose, and Henry. And where do they live? Susan and Rose lives with my ex-husband and Henry lives with me and my current husband. Are all of them are your biological children? Yes, officer, they are. Are all of them are United States citizen? Yes, officer, they are. Do you have their birth certificates? I only Henry's birth certificates. Can I look at it? Sure, here it is. Okay. Moving on to the next section. Do you live at the same address since you submitted your application? Yes, officer. Is that your mailing address? Yes. Okay, are either of your parents United States citizens? No, they are not. And where do they live? They live in Mexico City. Okay, how tall are you? I am 5 foot 3 inches. And about how much do you weigh? I weigh 135 pounds. Do you work anywhere? Yes, I work, 
but I changed my job after submitting the application. Okay, what is the name of the new company? Hillview Financial Solutions. And what kind of work do you do? I am financial consultant. Okay, let me update that. Okay, did you make any trips outside the United States in the past five years? Yes, I went to Mexico City three times in the past five years. When was your last trip? It was on October 2018. What was the purpose of your trip? I went to see my parents. Did you stay outside of the country for more than six months during any of the trips? No, officer. Okay, let me ask you some questions. Sure. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, officer. Do you have any title of nobility in a foreign country? No. Have you been declared legally incompetent? No, never. Have you ever failed to file your taxes or do you owe any taxes? No, officer. I always pay my taxes and I don't owe any taxes. Have you ever been a member of a gang? No, officer. Have you ever forced a child under 15 to become a soldier? No, never. Have you ever received military or weapons training? No, never. Have you ever been arrested or committed a crime? No. Have you ever helped anyone enter the U.S. illegally? No, never. Have you ever lied to the U.S. government to get public benefits? No, never. Have you ever been deported? No, officer. Have you ever been cited or detained by a law enforcement officer for any reason? Sorry, officer. When I was filling the form, I didn't realize that traffic tickets are citations. So I did got a traffic ticket in 2013. Okay, what was the reason for which you got the traffic ticket? I exceeded the speed limit. And how much was the fine? $1,000. Was the issue alcohol-related? No, I was in a bit of a hurry. How did the issue got resolved? I paid the fine and attended traffic school. Do you have the ticket and the receipt of the payment? Yes, I have. Here it is. Okay, any other tickets since then? No. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S. government? Yes, I am willing. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the U.S. armed forces? Yes, I am willing. Are you willing to perform noncombatant services for the U.S. armed forces? Yes, I am willing to. Are you willing to help the government during a national emergency? Yes, I am will. Finally, do you promise that everything you said is true? Yes, I promise that everything I said is true. Now, please the application form for any errors. If everything you said is accurate then sign and date at the bottom. Finally, review and acknowledge that you are willing to take the oath of allegiance. Print, sign and date here. Great thank you. So you passed all your tests and here is a copy of your test results. Since you didn't bring some documents which were required, you will receive a notice on the mail, 
please follow the instructions and submit those documents as soon as possible. I see, do you know how long I have to wait for the notice? You will get the notice in a week or two. Okay. Do you have any questions? No thank you. You are welcome, good luck.